Have you ever heard of a place where giant drawings cover the desert floor? Very big. You can only really see them from the sky. Or how about a mysterious mummy found in the middle of nowhere that doesn't look quite human? Welcome to the Nazca Desert in Peru, South America. A place filled with ancient secrets, strange discoveries, and questions that science is still trying to answer. Deep in the heart of Peru's Nazca Desert lies a secret. A secret buried for centuries. A secret that challenges everything we know about ancient civilizations. In this video, we're diving deep into one of the world's most puzzling archaeological mysteries, the Nazca Desert Mummy. Is it a real person from long ago, a hoax, or something else entirely? Let's explore the sands of time together on Real Explore. The Nazca Desert is located in southern Peru, stretching along the Pacific coast. It's a hot, dry, and very empty place. But it's also one of the most mysterious spots on Earth. This desert is home to the famous Nazca Lines, massive ancient drawings carved into the ground, some of which are more than 1,200 feet long. They look like animals, humans, and geometric shapes. No one knows exactly why or how they were made but we'll get into that soon. Even more surprising, in recent years, a strange mummy was found here. And it's not like any mummy you've ever seen before. Let's go back over 2,000 years to the time of the Nazca people. This ancient civilization lived in Peru from about 100 BCE to 800 CE. They were farmers, artists, and engineers. They built amazing underground systems to carry water through the desert and they made colorful pottery that still survives today, but their most famous creation, the Nazca Lines. These huge drawings, called geoglyphs, can only be seen properly from the air. They show animals like monkeys, birds, and spiders. Some drawn in just a few strokes, perfectly straight and proportioned, as if made with a giant ruler. Why did they make them? Some scientists think they were made for religious ceremonies, Others believe they point to water sources, and some even think they might have been made to communicate with gods or with beings from the sky. It's within this strange and fascinating culture that a new mystery appeared, one that looks like it came from another world. In 2017, something shocking was found near the Nazca Lines, a mummified body that looked completely different from any known human. The mummy was small, with an elongated skull, long fingers, and only three fingers on each hand and three toes on each foot. It didn't look fake, but it didn't look normal either. The discovery was made by a group of independent researchers and journalists who called themselves the Inkari Institute, along with a man named the Reed Jamin. They said they found several bodies in the desert caves, some small like dolls, and one about the size of an adult human. Photos and videos of the mummies went viral. People were stunned. Was this a new species, an ancient experiment? Or could it actually be proof of contact with aliens? To find out the truth, scientists started studying the body. First, they used x-rays and CT scans to look inside. The bones seemed real. The tissue wasn't plastic or rubber. It looked mummified, just like ancient remains found in museums. Then, carbon dating was used to see how old the mummy was. Tests showed it might be around 1,700 years old, which matches the time of the Nazca culture. But here's where things got strange. Some scientists said the body was real, but had been altered. They believed it might have been made using parts from different animals or humans, reshaped to look alien. Others said the hands and head had been surgically changed after death. Still, there were experts who disagreed. They said the body looked natural, and there were no signs of tampering. Then came DNA testing. The results were mixed. Some tests said it was human. Others said it was not fully human, possibly even a different species. To this day, scientists around the world are still debating. Is the Nazca mummy an elaborate hoax, a strange mutation, or something science hasn't explained yet? Whether real or fake, the Nazca mummy has had a big impact. In Peru, the government became concerned. 
If the mummies were real ancient remains, they should have been handled by professional archaeologists, not YouTubers and researchers without official permission. At the same time, many people in Peru saw the discovery as a chance to learn more about their ancestors, the idea that their land might still hide ancient secrets. Even beings we've never seen before is both exciting and a little scary. For historians, the mummy is a reminder of how much we still don't know about ancient civilizations like the Nazca. And for local communities, it's a call to protect and respect the desert's heritage. Now, let's talk about the wildest part theories and myths. Some people believe that aliens visited the Nazca people and that the Nazca lines were runways or signals for flying vehicles. They think the mummy might be one of these beings, left behind thousands of years ago. Others think the mummy could be a genetic experiment created by a long-lost civilization with advanced knowledge. Could the Nazca people have known things that modern science is only now discovering? Of course, many scientists push back. They say the alien theory is fun, but without any solid proof. Still, legends in the area speak of sky people, beings that came from above and taught humans about farming, astronomy, and life. These stories have existed long before planes or satellites. Could the Nazca mummy be a part of that legend? The Nazca desert is more than just sand and sun. It's a puzzle waiting to be solved. This location is full of wonder. From the odd mummified figures discovered deep down to the enormous, enigmatic lines that cover its surface. We may never learn the whole story of the Nazca mummies. Was it a forgotten ancestor, a clever hoax, or something that defies our understanding of life on Earth? We do know, however, that riddles such as these pique our interest, encourage us to continue exploring, and serve as a reminder of how much more we have yet to learn. If we want to understand our past, and maybe even our place in the universe, we need to keep asking questions, digging deeper, and protecting the stories hidden in the sands. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the Nazca Desert. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to explore more ancient mysteries with us right here on Real Explore. Until next time, stay curious.